guys, welcome back again from Tampa Bay on this rare overcast day, but absolutely beautiful. 71 degrees, middle of December. There's the ice cream man. <laughs> yep, it's Florida. Deal with it. I've got all my friends on Facebook posting pictures of blizzards and snow cover and ice and single digit temperatures. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. So what's going on guys? Not a whole lot here. I am in the middle of some tests, specifically with YouTube. On this channel, I'm concentrating on one set of changes. On Cigar Obsession, I'm concentrating on some others. And in a week or two, I'm gonna see if I can detect any changes. I'm keeping a very close eye on my analytics, trying to stay up with the new algorithm you know, there are some things that are plainly obvious about the changes, but YouTube doesn't officially come out and tell you squat. You have to derive it yourself or listen to those that have already done so. So on two-wheel obsession, what I'm concentrating on right now is tags. Now, up until recently when they changed the algorithm, it was explained to me directly from YouTube that tags didn't matter. They were not indexed. Only the title and description counted, so make those really good, which is awesome advice. Anyway, they are always going to be the primary factors. However, tags themselves weren't that relevant. So even though I was told that, it's not that I didn't use them. I had tags on all my videos. I had a default set that were part of my upload defaults, so it wasn't any work. But they weren't anything special. They were just generic tags that would apply to all my videos or my channel, that kind of thing. Nothing specific to any particular videos. Well, I've heard some people say that that is now part of the new algorithm and that tags are relevant. Again, they were many years ago for sure. So we're gonna test that out. I deleted all the tags from all my videos and I'm going through the very laborious process of going through every video one by one and putting in the maximum amount, up to 500 characters, of video specific tags. And that will definitely show a clear difference or not. There's no way that is not going to have an effect if they are indeed being indexed. I had 560 videos, something like that, and with all of those now very well indexed, well they will be by uh, probably tomorrow, I'm still going through them all, that should immediately have an effect on at least views of the channel in general. I'm watching the videos that are getting the latest 48 hours of views. We'll see what triggers them. And more specifically, on each video you can go into analytics and see where people were coming from. If they were coming from recommended videos or YouTube search or their subscription feed, etc, etc. So what that should do is shift the percentage to the search and probably suggested or also called recommended section up significantly, at least on some of the videos. It should be a very clear jump up in the graphs. If not, that means tags are indeed at least not relevant now and most likely have not been for some time. We shall see. It's very difficult to get any kind of direct feedback on how tags are ranking because even through helper apps or plugins or third-party tools, you don't actually know how your tags or search results in general are working for you because what you see when you do a test is different than everybody else. The results you see are not only a factor of what you're searching for and what's out there, but your location, your browser, your computer type, your age, your Google profile, all of that is factored into what they serve back as a search result. 
and the third-party tools and plugins and help wraps and all that kind of stuff that can help with that kind of thing, they see a completely different result because they're seeing a neutral result that doesn't take anything into consideration that's fed directly off the search server, which nobody sees. Only third-party apps see those results. So it really is a lot of guesswork still exactly how your search rankings and tag results and all that kind of stuff work for you. Don't believe anybody that says, I can show you exactly how this is going to rank for you, because it's simply not true, and YouTube specifically tells you that and explains how it all works. And some of the third-party apps will tell you that too, but you have to dig through the FAQ and info pages. They won't exactly advertise it that way because they want you to buy it. But we'll see. Now on Cigar Obsession, what I'm doing is testing out how much of an effect the relevance factor now has. I'm starting off with applying this to all the videos. And what I'm doing is running a massive contest and so far <laughs> it's actually working too well. I'll get to that in a second. But I'm having people thumbs up and I'm not talking about spam, I'm talking about legitimately comment and affect the videos. Thumbs up and comment on all my videos to enter this contest, which means they are leaving already thousands, and by the end of the week it's going to be tens of thousands, if not a hundred or more comments and thumbs up. So that's being applied to the entire channel. Now the difference will be well, we're going to see if that has an effect first, and if not, we will check the next week when I make another change. Starting with next week's contest, I'm going to limit it to just one video, not channel-wide. So that should give a major boost to one particular video. We'll see if that has any effect, at least different from this week's results. I think that will have more of an effect than altering the entire channel. I think having it spread out so much might be a little too thin. I don't think they're going to really have as much effect over 1,500 videos as tens of thousands of people hitting one particular video. It's just my gut feeling, but we need to test it to be sure. And I'm, I'm not only doing that to test, it's going to be out of necessity. This is the first time doing anything like this, so there's a learning curve. And what I learned was the built-in spam filter for YouTube comments is actually very good. Any kind of hyperlink, certain phrases, like check out my review, you know, people trying to just spam other people's videos with bullshit to try to get them to watch their own crap automatically gets filtered by YouTube and it's great and it goes into your spam tab and it doesn't show up on the videos and you have to manually approve or delete it. Well, I found out that one of the triggers for the automatic spam catch is the same comment being left in a certain amount of time on so many of your videos. and. The entry for this contest is to leave a particular hashtag. So of course, <laughs> like 99% of these entry comments are getting flagged as spam. So every hour or so I have to go in there and approve thousands of comments. <laughs> yeah, didn't see that one coming. So needless to say, I'm not exactly happy with the way the automatic spam filter works for that. Now what would have been nice is if it was a better spam filter, if it worked like email. With me approving all these thousands of comments, you would think that it would be a learning filter and it would adapt and then automatically approve anything like what I had already manually approved. Nope, doesn't do that at all. There's also no whitelist like email spam filters have, so I can't put in the specific hashtag that I want people to be leaving and have it leave that alone. Nope. Nothing like that whatsoever. There are no tools with the spam filter 
it's take it or leave it. It's uh, automatic and there's nothing you can do about it. You can't even turn it off. Which also would be a semi-decent option because I hardly get any spam. Any real spam, I mean. But I do know that the filter does not tag things that are left on just one particular video. So that'll work just fine. I had an early morning start this morning. I was actually up all night working on some of this stuff. But I had to take the wife to the airport at 4 a.m. anyway. I'll tell you, there's a pro and a con to being out that early. Number one, pro, you're the only one on the road. Con, you can't speed because you're the only one on the road. <laughs> I think I saw 30 cars between our house and the airport, which uh, was about 35 minutes away. And about five of those were cops, no joke. So it's just set it on cruise control and head on out. But the nice thing was I didn't catch any lights because all the major roads, they just flick to green and they're smart lights so they never slow you down. They're nice. I wanted to go out this past weekend to film some of the holiday lights like I had done the past couple of years. You know, we had the, uh, what was it called? Um, Nights of Shimmering Lights. That was the drive through one out at the Hillsboro County Fairgrounds. And I rode through there, and it was a really cool display. They just kind of make a makeshift path through the fields. And it was a little bit of a pain the last time I went because I didn't have this nice light clutch pull after I upgraded the clutch. Would have been fine this year. However, it appears they had a tiff with the county and they had to cancel their show at the last minute. Their website's pretty useless. And the county went up and did it with another group, and it's called Wonderland Lights. So I looked at it, thought, okay, well, if it's kind of the same thing, let's check that out. Well, it's 20 bucks a vehicle now just to drive through some lights, and they even have a $35 annual pass like you're gonna come back again go ahead dude so I'm looking at the reviews I mean for 20 bucks plus a three-hour ride I'm checking it out before I do it you know what I mean and the reviews are horrible they were great for nights of shimmering lights and it was really cool lights everywhere these reviews pretty much all said the same thing very sparse, lots of blank areas between setups, and it's just stuff along the road. Not even all of it is Christmas themed. The entrance looks great, and then you go around the corner and there's hardly anything for the rest of it. <laughs> so yeah, pass on that. Thanks for saving me 20 bucks. Unfortunately, it means no video. So I thought, okay, well, there's the old standby, that huge place down in St. Pete. But they have the exact same setup, and I've already done it twice. No, not really worth going down. Even though it's free, it's the exact same thing. There's nothing else I could do for a video. So if you've seen one of the other two, one was with the wife, so it's slightly different. But, yeah, that's about it. Nah, not really worth doing that. We had a big holiday party here in Newport Ritchie yesterday afternoon. Yesterday night, the parade started. And it was pretty sparse. It wasn't motorcycle themed or anything. So I thought, okay, well, I'll do that big neighborhood. I had done part of that last year, and that was pretty cool. They had about two miles worth of houses lit up all through a neighborhood and a, a path and everything like that. Nope, not this year. <laughs> I'm striking out. Don't know why everything's... Uh, falling apart this particular year but it is so I'll stay on the hunt we've got a couple weeks left until Christmas so I'm not sure if I'll find something else going on or maybe there's something fairly close but so far definitely striking out these are all huge Christmas cards that they got set up not sure if it's super clear in the video for you this is Sims Park, 
this is where we have a lot of events and there's a concert pavilion I think they've got something going on right now yep a whole bunch of people straight ahead you probably can't see it right in front of that little orange blob their speaker set up I think Santa's still here he was here all afternoon yesterday and they had a free brunch set up if you have kids I mean that's really cool go ahead dude they had a boat parade there's a, a little river right on the other side of this here I'll go over the river for you guys and those are kind of cool everyone on the on the river there lights up their pontoon boats and stuff and does a little slow parade not motorcycle themed of course but you know still kind of cool if you're local this is downtown Newport Ritchie this is Main Street here and it goes for a couple blocks a couple really good restaurants there's a nice cigar bar post office down on the left one of my camera shops that I used to like to go to up here on the right one of the rare used camera shops still in business he's just an old guy and I don't think he wants to retire doesn't really do much business I think I I can probably find some of the same stuff he has in there from 10 years ago when I first went in <laughs> and he had a at least had I, I think he still has a little local camera group just old timers that come and you know try to learn stuff about digital cameras and stuff that's cool he's right there the uh, Pasco camera cool little shop so that's about it just an update what's going on oh god I had my signal on that whole time Durr. I feel like such an idiot when I do that and it's just because I'm talking I never do it when I'm not motor vlogging I am NOT a multitasker anybody that says they are you're full of it <laughs> all right guys that's it hope you're enjoying your day what is today today is Sunday they all roll together for me Give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you want to see more, and we'll see you next time.